Hey ladies and gentlemen, once again it's your boy coming to you with another video. How did the NBA 2K and the NBA Live beef get started? Had they always been beef between these two franchises? And the question is, no. I mean, you have your little Nick picks on both games here and there. You know, but slowly throughout the years, 2K was catching up with NBA Live, and it came to a point where they both were equal. In the process of that, it still were other games out, but faded away and they stopped making them. And they only were making NBA Live and NBA 2K for you young cats, all right? You know, me and my guys will come over or whatever, and I'm telling you, we'll play both games. For certain modes, we felt this game was better, and we felt the same vice versa. We didn't even compare them. It's like, okay, we're gonna play this real quick on this tournament, you know what I'm saying, all right. Then I'll play you in live next. All right, we've been playing some 2K for a while. Okay, let's switch up and play live, or the same vice versa, okay? That's how everything was. I'm gonna tell you why I think everything started to deteriorate, is majority of the people was playing 2K at the end of, okay, NBA Live 10 was the last installment, okay? NBA Live 10 was out, everything still was Gucci, everything was going cool. That break, and we all keep telling you 2K fans that, that break is what did it, because what did it with that break is, they was like, man, NBA Live what? You know what I'm saying? They barely knew about it, and when that break happened, it was like, NBA Live, what's that, you know? Oh, what's coming on? You know, they were just confused. They, ain't, they don't know no history about it. So they talk about it and they dog it out. Everyone else jump on a bandwagon, talk about it and dog it out. But they done in history, they would know that NBA Live was the top seller all the way until 2010. But that break was a big gamble. And I think it's going to pay off in the end when NBA Live 18 comes out. Once again, like I said, all my videos is going to continue to be Nick picks here and Nick picks there. But that break is what did it. That's how the beat started. You got fanboys on NBA Live. You got fanboys on NBA 2K. But we admit our falls more than 2K. 2K would not admit they wrong. Just like a bunch of females. No matter how bad they do, no matter how bad the patches get, they will never admit it's wrong. So when NBA Live come out with new and creative things or they bring the other things back they do it back in 2k faith because a lot of young cats don't know that all these modes and ideas 2k have that it came from nba live so i think the beef is never going to stop it's always going to be nick picking here and there but i think more people is going to give nba live a chance so basically that's how the beef kicked off once they took that break it was down here from there, but we slowly but surely is making progress. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man.